Hi, my name's David Sickles. Welcome to FE on the Road. Your truck suspension system is like the skeletal structure of the vehicle, supporting both the handling and the ride quality. It keeps your cargo in good shape while making sure the driver is shielded from bumps on the road. There are two major styles of suspensions for heavy duty trucks out there, air ride and leaf spring. And knowing the difference between the two can be important based on your application. Air ride suspensions are made up of a system of airlines, air spring bags, and valves. This style of suspension is known for giving the truck a less abrasive ride from when the trailer is empty to about half loaded, helping to reduce maintenance to trailers and improving the comfort of the driver. However, when the trailer's halfway to fully loaded, it's doubtful the driver would notice the difference between air ride and leaf spring. Today's air ride suspensions are generally low weight and will compensate for curves on the road. They're great for trucks equipped with expensive components or special body types directly mounted to the chassis. Air ride suspensions will also help you protect the life of your tires. So what's the catch? Cost. Typically, you'll find air ride suspensions have a higher upfront cost compared to their leaf spring counterparts. Now, leaf springs are used in steel suspensions and have a simpler design. Many fleets love them because they are durable, affordable, and require less maintenance than air suspensions due to their simplicity. There are certain applications that will probably benefit more from a leaf spring suspension as there is an industry-wide move to a broader use of steer axle monoleaf leaf spring suspensions for lighter weight designs with good ride performance. You'll find these are more common in the dry freight on highway segment. There's a third style of suspension you might hear about too rubber ride suspensions, or sometimes also referred to as walking beam suspensions, which are primarily used in severe duty off-road applications, but they're pretty rare otherwise. For more trucking equipment content, head over to feontheroad.com. Thanks for watching.